your shame, sister? Amen. Amen. Have you ever been ashamed? Has somebody ever wanted to shame you? You can despise the shame. Learn how to despise the shame. I know how to despise the shame. Amen? Amen. I used to be ashamed before, but now I no longer get ashamed. Amen? Amen. And you must be afraid of someone who doesn't get ashamed. Amen? <laughs> Amen? Amen? You should not be ashamed. Jesus despised. The shame is there. And you can feel the sense of shame. But you, you can choose to despise it. Amen? Amen? You can choose to despise it. If you suffer with him, you will be glorified together with him. Amen. Sisters and brothers, if you suffer with Christ, you will be glorified together with Christ. If you suffer with if you suffer with Christ, if you suffer with Christ, if you suffer with Christ, you will be glorified together with Christ. If you have ever gone through anything for Christ, let me tell you, a paid day is coming. Let me say that a paid day is coming. If you have ever gone through anything for Christ, a paid day is coming. You didn't hear me. A paid day is coming. A day for you to be paid is soon coming in the name of Jesus. Can you say amen? amen. Can you say amen? amen? Now, listen to this. Listen to this as I wind up. Listen to these words. For I consider, verse 18, chapter 8 of Romans, for I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Whatever you're going through, you are just going through it. Just go through it. Go through it. Amen? A man of God said, when you are going through it, go through. Don't stop. Don't dwell there. David said in Psalm chapter 23, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not lack any good thing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley under the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. He says, though I walk through I'm just going through. I'm not dwelling in. He did not say, though I dwell in the valley of the shadow of death. No. It means when you are going through the shadow of death, don't dwell there. Just go through to the other side. <laughs> Amen? Some people have chosen, have decided to dwell in the valley under the shadow of death. And they are always, mm. <laughs> though I dwell in the valley, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. You're not supposed to dwell there, you're supposed to go through to the other side. Do I go through? It is, you're just going through. Amen? You're just going through. Amen? You might be going through a circumstance at your employment, at your workplace, but you are just going through it. Everyone, everyone say after me, I am going through. Amen? Amen? You are just going through some situation. You are not dwelling in the shadow of death. Some people are dwelling there. They have decided to cover themselves and sleep. <laughs> and they believe it is not going to change at all. You're not supposed to be dwellers. You're not supposed to dwell there. You should encourage yourself and say, I am just going through this. I'm a child of God. I'm not supposed to die here. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Jesus said prophets must die in Jerusalem. So if you're still in Samaria, you can't die there. <laughs> it's a joke. Amen. Yeah. Amen. shouldn't die in Samaria. A prophet shouldn't die in Judea. You must walk through until to Jerusalem. If you're going through, you're just going through it. Amen? Amen. No tough situation is permitted to stay forever. No circumstance stays forever. If you're poor today, tomorrow you can be the richest woman. Amen? Amen. I have ever seen people who are very, very poor, but today when you see them, you have to make an appointment for three days.
days. And in those days, eh, I used to know him. I used to know how we used to fellowship together in the same church. But today, to meet him, you have to make an appointment for three days. It happens, okay? So, if you're going through it, don't dwell there. Amen? Amen. Allow yourself to go through it. Okay? Allow the tears to fall. Okay? And allow the burden to fall. Okay? You are just going through it. It means you're not the first one to go through it. Some people, when they're having a problem, they treat it as though it is very, very special. Okay? My problem. Oh, brethren, I have this sickness of mine. Where did you get it from? Was your mother a trader of sickness? You don't have a problem that is going to stay permanent. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Were you born with it? This marriage problem of mine, it is not yours. The devil came. But rebuke him. The Bible says, rebuke the devil and he shall flee from you. Amen. Don't rebuke your husband, rebuke the devil. <laughs> Because when it was about morning, the 